What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidigo Vibes here and in today's video I'm showing you one of the most slept on collections thus far the Uniqlo U Fall Winter 17 collection. So today's video is going to be all about the Uniqlo U, the evolution of life wear within Uniqlo and the collection that Christophe Lamare did with the actual brand and collaborated on and dude these pieces are fire and the whole collection is amazing. The only downside to this is that I'm Australian. So it's spring right now. So this whole collection does not apply to me. But I mean, I can buy it now for the next season coming up. And especially for you guys that are in Europe and America, this is going to benefit This is going to benefit you a lot. Because one, it's really affordable. It's at a really amazing price point. And two, the quality and the craftsmanship on these pieces are great. Before we get into this, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what actually Uniqlo U is all about. And basically, it's the evolution of life wear and everyday pieces. So the actual person who was behind this whole collection is Christoph Lamare, which is from his own brand, Lamare, which really emphasizes on simplistic menswear garments with a simple twist. And honestly, I looked back on his Fall Winter 17 and compared it between that and this Uniqlo U, it is very, very similar. The tones in terms of color are there. The actual fit and style of the garments are there as well. So you are kind of getting that high-end vibe at a really, really affordable price point and still getting that quality that Uniqlo is all about. So within, I've only got four pieces to show off and we're gonna go one of the accessories first, which honestly, where the fuck is it? I don't even know. Here it is. Um, we'll go with one of the first uh, ones, which is an accessory and it's something that I've seen pop off on the last Uniqlo U collection, I think. And it's the Uniqlo U shoulder bag. And honestly, this is fucking awesome because it's only 30 bucks Australian, but it has two zipper pockets at the front on one opposing side. So the front pocket is usually just for a wallet and the other one's for a phone usually. Putting two in one is very bulgy and doesn't quite work, but this is really good for those people who don't really want to have like such a bulgy shoulder bag. I mean, if you want to go for that vibe, I would go for it because that's what I want to do. But for this, it's a very simplistic flat. It's not in your face and it can only sit like right here underneath the shirt, which is what I'm going to have. I'm going to have the strap underneath the shirt, have a shirt or jacket or overshirt, whatever it may be over the top and it will suit really well. Other than the design, there are no some like subtle details to this apart from like the zips because it's actually like a ring, which is pretty cool. Very easily to just like pull it and try not to break it. But um, the strap can be easily adjustable towards like if you want it really tight, if you want it really loose, whatever it may be. But this one is a great piece for those who want to go like spring, summer, or even fall, winter and have that nice shoulder bag, which is like very trendy nowadays. But yeah, man, Uniqlo U shoulder bag, I will have it on body for you right now. <music> actual pieces starting off with this uh, mock neck long sleeve t-shirt which is actually freaking awesome because it's the exact same as Lamare's 4 Winter 17 piece and it's only $40. It's this loose mock neck long sleeve tee. The quality on this is pretty much an oversized pocket tee which is what I used to rock a lot in the fall winter but it's a lot more on the softer side which is great. The actual um, feature on this piece is that loose mock neck. It's very loose, it's not tight so it almost gives off like that slouchy vibe. Other than that, simple long sleeve. It's a lot more on the drop shoulders as well because it is oversized. The sizing on this is oversized and I've got an extra large. I don't really know why. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck it into a nice overshirt or a nice outerwear piece like my blouse, which is dope. Um, just have that feature piece of the actual um, mock neck be the feature of that tee because it's just a very simplistic long sleeve white tee. It, it can be quite boring, but when you do layer it, you can have that feature piece really pop out which is awesome. So, and the price point on this was 40 bucks as well. So, cheap as chips. That's it for just like basics. Cause I wanted to get like the maroon, but I was going to spend too much money. But with this, this is fucking Dope, dude. Oh my God. Everything here is pretty much from Lamare, but just at an affordable price point. Could I even do this? Uh, nah, that looks shit. But this is the oversized flannel shirt in this uh, blood orange slash maroon color, which really, really gives off this Rick Owens vibe that I'm getting, and it's freaking amazing. But this fits beautiful. It has that nice military-esque pocket 
on the left um, chest, but it's a lot lower. On the opposite side of this pocket, on it has like a stitching on the outside, and I was like, what the hell is that? But then I realized there's an actual pocket on the inside, which is awesome. But other than that, the material is very similar to my Our Legacy one, but it's a lot more thicker, but it's cotton not linen. So with this, it's just basically you have it as your outerwear piece. You let this be the talking. You don't really layer anything on top of this. Because of this color, it's great. You can wear a black tee. You can wear a white tee. You can wear a gray tee. You can wear this mock neck underneath, which is I'm pretty sure what the stylist did for this collection. And it goes so well, dude. So I'm super pleased with this. I can't remember the exact price on this. Uh, 60 bucks. This shit was 60 bucks and it's basically an outerwear piece for $60, which is insane. And to have this nice subtlety color of an earth tone is awesome. And it's like, reminds me of Rick, dude, which is why I got it as well, but it's freaking amazing. But I really want to get the black one because I don't have a black overshirt. I've only got this one, my Our Legacy one, and this one too. So yeah, $60, overshirt, oversized flannel shirt, whatever. Oh, sizing. Sizing. This was a size large and it just fits beautiful. I tried the medium and it ended up just being a little bit too tight. I like it to just fit with the buttons right in front of me. So the size large fits awesome. Just go true to size pretty much. From death, go! Next up is probably my favorite piece from the collection. When I saw this on the lookbook when it first got announced, I was like, I don't care how much that shit is. If it's 200, if it's hundred dollars, I don't care, I'm buying it. And it is the black nylon zip up blouse and it has this beautiful uh, contrasted silver zipper going along the garment itself and it just looks amazing. YKK zips, it has this um, overlay pockets on both sides, very similar to my JW Anderson one. Uh, the simplistic collar, which is known on all the blouses. Another fine detail is actually the buttons on the cuff, so you can make it tighter or just leave it unbuttoned, which is actually, I think I'm gonna do, and have that, just like that loose look. Um, apart from that, it has this elastic cuff at the bottom, which isn't too like constricting, even though I'm not gonna have it zipped up. Like, who the fuck would? But nothing on the back, and dude, for 130 bucks, you can't go wrong. Like you can go out and spend $700, $600 on an outerwear piece, or you can spend 130 dude, and just get a simple black nylon blouse and that nice nylon material to keep you super cozy. And I forgot to mention on the inside, before I let you go, it has this uh, nice subtle pocket on the inside, which is awesome. But dude, sizing, I got this in a size large, it fits, I'm not even gonna bother doing that. Size large, fits super, super nice, and yeah. I can wear this under anything, dude. The, this underneath, like, this underneath each other would look amazing, and that's probably what I'm gonna do when I see it on body. Maybe even the, uh, maybe not the overshirt, but yeah. Yeah, dude, the nylon zip-up blouse, and it comes in black, navy, maroon or purple, I think, I can't remember. And last but not least was khaki, which I tried on, but I was like, uh, I've got my khaki puffer jacket. I tried the black and was like, nah, I'm sold. But, um, Quality is sick, the fit of it is sick, and the price point is sick. So that's just my rundown on Uniqlo U. You've got the shoulder bag, the zip up blouse, and the overshirt, the mock neck. There is a lot of knitted garments. So if you're all about having that nice like cashmere, like mock neck, turtleneck, whatever, they've got it. They've got parkas, overcoats, trench coats. Uh, they've got cardigans as well. Like Christophe Lamare killed this collection, especially at a really great price point. You can't complain, dude. So with that being said, if you are new, go ahead and subscribe. The button is right over there. Like this video. And then go ahead and check out my recently uploaded video. I will see you guys on the next video on Verdugo Vibes. I'm out, guys. Peace.